Hello, I'm Joe Sanfilippo with The Declaration. I'm here with... Isaiah. All right, Isaiah, so I have a few questions um, regarding worth ethic, mental health, you know, your own designing company that you're working on. But um, what does it mean to you, uh, like mental health in the workplace community? Uh, do you think it's valued enough? I ask you this because it is still Mental Health Awareness Month, so I just wanted your take on that. Uh, honestly, I think a lot of managers don't take it in consideration of the background of the employers, you know? Like, I feel like just to have like a one-on-one, -on -one, like, not just the interview, you know, you're, you're, you're not just interviewing someone for the job, you're interviewing them for, you know, future relationships, you know, like, and it could go either way, it could go good or bad, so you have to, like, feel like they should take it in consideration, you know? That's fair. Do you think teenagers should start working as soon as they can? Do you think it's important for teenagers to go to school but also have a part-time job and work? Or do you think they should wait till they get to college? When do you think is the appropriate time a teenager should start learning the responsibilities of the workplace? To be honest, I feel like they should start young because that way it gets them prompt and ready, you know, for the, the outside world, you know, like they get used to it, like their skills, their communication skills, their you know, customer service skills gets built up, you know, and by the time they get, you know, or college or whatever you're saying, then, you know, it, it'll be, it'll be like a growth, but like, it'll be like, you know, They've been doing this for years, or they've been doing this their whole life, but really not. It's just, just off the experience, you know. That's fair. So you work at Dunkin' Donuts, and now you also work at Fresh Grocer. So, in your definition, what does it mean to be a good, hardworking person? Mm, that's a good question. Hmm. Honestly, you just gotta go to work knowing. <clears throat> Either it's gonna be a good day or a bad day. It doesn't matter, you know. You always have to have a good attitude towards, you know, work and duty. You know, you just gotta have a a, a, a positive attitude on, you know, work and duty, knowing what you gotta do because you do it every day. So, yeah. so if you feel you go with a positive attitude, your work ethic gets better. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the customers? I feel like you get a lot of positive rep here. How do you maintain that? How do you make those strong connections with customers? You know, those friendships you build with your employees that are really important and crucial uh, for the job. How do you go through those moments? How do you get those positive uh, those positive moments? Uh, it's just me interacting with customers, you know? Like, I, I talk to them like they're just family, you know? So it's like, like I see my cousin or something or my little sister we go, hey, you know, handshake or hug, something like that. It's all about, you know, embracing, you know, people like they're, like, you know, they family or something, you know. You believe through work, it's a, you believe through work, that's how you kind of create those good moments, you know, befriend your coworkers. I have good memories with customers, things like that. So I, I want to go over your other side venture. Um, which we were going to discuss your clothing brand, your marketing, you know, Zay Apparel. Um, so what led to that? You know, what led you to want to make clothing? I like the, I like the dress, you know. I'm not that person that overdoes it and, you know, every day it's like, oh, I got something like, you know, oh, and I got the fresh cakes. But like, I'm the type of person who's just like, when I actually feel like going out, I have like I know I'm, I'm gonna be the freshest person outside. You know, you like that cop. You like that confidence booster. Yeah. Nice. So, what clothing can we see on your website? Like, what's the what's like the best selling things right out out right now? The things that you think will become best selling. Uh, right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna say slides. I have the 
um, the Skellies. I know people, it was like a, a, a lot of people saying, oh, you should make Skellies. And I don't think, I don't think they knew I was making Skellies. So like, that's another, you know, high seller. So the slides, the hoodies, um, and the Skellies. Nice, nice. And I remember you said that you were making merch for Mental Health Awareness Month. How's that going? Uh, I mean, it's almost over. But, like, I want to do something where, like, I was going to make, like, just t-shirts and have, like, on the back, like, mental awareness. Yeah. Mental health awareness. And then I wanted to have, like, I was going to make, like, a front of the shirt have something like where it says something nice you know something that reminds people to stay positive right you know it's, it's, it's like they're not alone you know there's a lot of people suffering from this and I feel like me doing that and it ends for free you know so like why not why not give out you know t-shirts and make people feel good and, you know it just sets their mind for like oh there's someone that can relate and you know, that knows like oh you know they're not alone no that's that's excellent yeah. and i think it brings people together but i'm back on top of the productiveness so we got your your merch line you're working two jobs where did this sense of productiveness come from this idea of like i want to be a hard-working citizen i want to do well for my town for my family for myself where did this all start where did this all come from honestly just it's, it's just my background of, you know, just living, you know, like, being born and raised in North, you, you just see a lot of stuff, and you live through a lot of stuff, and it's like, you want to see better, yeah. not just for, like, I want to see better for myself, but like, me doing better for myself is, like, setting an example for everybody else around, you know, so it's like, and I definitely want to be an example for a lot of people, especially from more, like my friends, my family. And I got little ones coming up, not my kids, but like my nieces and nephews, my little cousins. Like I feel like they my kids in a way, you know. Cause you they listen care. to me. Yeah, yeah. They always want me around. Like, oh, can you come play game with us today or something like that? Or can you bring this? I'm like, I'll bring it to them. I think that's a really strong example of wanting others to see the good, you know, working hard, being empathetic, and I feel like a lot of that is through interacting with people. I found a really interesting study um, through school in this TED Talk, and it's a woman, she's from Harvard or some other prestigious university, and she wants to measure the way people find happiness. And I look to you for happiness because, you know, you're working two part-time jobs, you're working a lot, but you still manage to joke around. You still manage to bring positivity onto others. And she said that the number one way people really find happiness isn't through money or being successful, but through the amount of positive connections and friends you make in your lifetime. She went through a bunch of rich people, poor people, and she found even in the poor people that whether they, the fact that they made positive connections in life really boosted their livelihood and i want to know what are your what are your thoughts on that you know i feel like you live by that mindset you know with work how do you apply that to work you know with the customers with the people you work with you know I mean, we went down to st john vianney fair last year everyone's coming up to you i say yeah i say yeah yeah i remember that uh yeah honestly sometimes i don't be my mindset ain't always like positive or like you know, if I know I gotta go to work, you know, I'm like, oh, sorry. I gotta get ready for this, and this. It's just the mindset, you know? Like, you just gotta have a mindset of how you're gonna move and how you're gonna do this and that. And it's, you know, even with the, the woman you were talking about, I think that's a good example, you know? I think I do have that mindset. We definitely have a lot of common love with you know, the woman you're talking about. So, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you know, that, that's actually, you know, 
it's like a cool that I live by, you know, I live by like, family, like, like Vin Diesel, like, he, he lives by family, you know, <clears throat> so he, he has a mindset of how he moves, and, you know, and he's respected by it, you know, so everyone, I mean, I just move a certain way, you know, it's not always positive, but, like, you know, you have to, like, know for sure like oh, this is how I'm gonna get to the day and stuff like that and yeah oh that's deep that's deep that's true too I mean you just have to keep mo you gotta keep pushing forward you know learn from your mistakes grow as a person and you work with a lot of you know you look, you work with a lot of younger people at Duncan you know there are a lot of people going into the field of you know customer service jobs so you're kind of like the mentor in a sense and what advice do you have to kids who feel like I just can't do it today I'm tired, you know, like, this job's a lot for me, but how do they combat adversity in the workplace? What do you think the best way to combat that is? It's to face it. So, prime example, right? So, I'm a people's person, but like, you know, let's just say, like, who I'm working with, like, I have, like, I work with and most of them don't want to take customers because of how they feel or you know they, they may be a little shy or something like that but yeah I am too you know but like you know the, the, the people the customers are not going to go anywhere if we don't do our job you know so like me I would just face it you know it's like to me it's not real so I just be like start joking around and start and, and then it, it, it's like I become this whole you know guy that everyone loves you know because you're putting yourself out there you're going past the nervousness and you're taking a healthy risk yeah and I, feel, I feel like that's important I feel like we get nervous and sometimes we you know we don't always take those risks because we feel like we're not good enough but even if we don't think we are we take the risk, the healthy risk to put ourselves out there because you never know who we're meeting. Maybe the person that you're serving the drink to ends up becoming one of your best friends or one of your best customers. Yeah, and it's good to, like, it's good to, like, you know, see it like that, too, you know? It's like, whatever you feel, like, whatever they, like, the kids feel, like, they can't do or it makes them afraid of it, you know, just... Think of it as like it's not real, you know, and just take the risk and, and make it a positive one, you know? Like, so. Yeah, thank you for all your answers today, man. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for discussing like what it means, you know, mental health in the workplace, you know, what it means to be a positive citizen. Uh, you know, civic duty. It's really important stuff, so uh, I appreciate you for coming on. I'll be there later for a blue raspberry colada. <laughs> all right, yeah. thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, bro.